hello everyone in this video let's see how to upload a file download it delete an object and list the files in aws s3 bucket using tailend this is my aws management console let's navigate to s3 bucket I have two buckets I have employees.csv inside the bucket Jim McCallie let's create a talent job let's create a talent job create job let me name it as aws s32 local focus is to get files from AWS S3 to local description let's say get files from AWS S3 bucket to local using tailend We have to use TS3 get component to get the files from S3 bucket. These are the properties. Let me provide the credentials. Bucket name is Jim McCallie. Key is the file name, which is employees.csv. Let me save the files in target files directory. Let me name the downloaded file to employees.csv. Let's run the job. job is completed let's check if the file is downloaded in the target files directory yes the file is downloaded now let's upload a file into s3 bucket We have to use TS3 put component to upload a file. Providing the credentials. Bucket is Jim McCallie.
let me upload a file called departments.csv Here is the file name Selecting the file Let's run the job job is completed let me refresh aws management console right now we have only employees.csv file yes departments.csv file is successfully uploaded Now let's delete a file from S3 bucket. We have to use TS3 delete component providing the credential. Bucket name is Jim McCallie. Let's delete departments.csv file. Running the job. job is completed let me refresh aws management console again we have employees.csv file and departments.csv file right now yes departments.csv file is deleted Now let's list all the objects in the S3 bucket. We have to use TS3 list component. Credentials has to be provided. We have to use the Java component to print the messages in the Talent console. Let's print the messages. Using TS3 list built in method. running the job
so we have only one file employees.csv in the s3 bucket Now let's copy the file from one bucket to another bucket. I have employees.csv in the bucket Jim McCallie. Let's copy that file into ETL AWS bucket. Right now ETL AWS bucket is empty. We have to use TS3 copy component. We have to provide the credentials. Source bucket is Jim McCallie. Key is employees.csv. Destination bucket is ETL AWS. Let me save it with the key employees ETL.csv. Let me run the job. Job is completed. Refreshing the AWS management console. Yes, employees.csv file from the bucket Jim McCallie is copied into. ETL AWS bucket as employees ETL.csv. Thank you guys. Please subscribe the channel and comment in case of any queries.